Paul, <laughs> why did you do that? This one, she says. All right, here's the deal. So my wife's birthday is coming up. Her birthday is November 23rd. And if anyone has watched any of my videos, they know that Thanksgiving week is pretty important to me. That's our deer camp week. So I get a little surprise for her. Let's take a look. She has no idea. But a week ago we were out. She saw a shotgun that she really liked. And a uh, little 28 gauge, a little over and under 28 gauge. So I went and picked it up for her. And she has no idea that I bought it for her. Here, we'll take a look. Uh, early birthday gift for her. She has no idea. But we are going bird hunting this weekend. We're packing right now. Um, gonna leave tomorrow night after work. And I wanted her to be able to use it for bird season. And if I buy her a, a shotgun for her birthday, it's in November, she's not gonna, she's gonna have a year before she can use it. So I gotta, uh, I gotta surprise her with it. I'll figure something out. Uh, I guess I'll probably sneak it up to camp and, and uh, I don't know, surprise her Saturday morning somehow. I'll show you. We'll figure something out. But anyway, a little surprise for Lisi. I'm kind of jealous. I kind of want it. Oh, yeah. Scissors, tape. Oh, my Lord. What do you think? I'm tired. <laughs> Happy birthday, Bo. Camping with three kids? This has it's, gotten better though, because a couple not, of years ago we were bringing boppy pillows. We were it, bringing boppy pillows, and it's definitely not like when we. Yeah, we're going. It's definitely not like when we go summer camping. No, we, were, we even brought a pack and play when you didn't we? Yeah. Pack and play stroller and that whole in, ex, the outside play. Oh yeah, the cage the, or whatever to keep both contained. Yeah. yeah. So, so this is this is camping with three kids. Let's see what they're doing. Hey, where'd you go, Bo? Uh, hey, go. how are we doing? Good. How are we going? Yes, we're going. You ready? So anyway, I guess we're off. Kids really enjoy it. They look forward to it all day. So, 7:30, we better hit the road. We're gonna get there kind of late, but kids are pretty excited. I mean, I am too. It's good for him. So. And I got Lacey's surprise too in the truck. It's hidden under there. She has no idea. She actually did just find the receipt in the pickup. She was getting stuff out of the truck. She's like, do you need this receipt to the gun store shop? <laughs> she didn't look at it, thank God. So, anyway, see you there. We made it. It's gonna be a late night for the kids. <laughs> hey, you guys ready to go bird hunting? Yes, yeah? I cannot shoot a partridge yet. No? <laughs> Is Mama ready to go bird hunting? I'm ready for it. <laughs> I'm not ready. What? I guess the other one's out back getting ready. Hey! I'm here for it. I'm almost done here, chickadee. Not the most nutritious breakfast, is it? <laughs> Huh? Oh, no. I just got oh, yeah. Oh, the other one's up. You ready? You gonna shoot a bird? Uh -huh. So I have a question. Four times three. How many birds can we get today? Four times three is twelve. Very good. So we can get twelve birds. Do you think we're gonna? If we can find them. Please, can you grab your gun out of the back for me? Can you grab your gun out of the back. Why? Just, just grab it. You're not hunting? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna let you shoot first. No. Yeah. Just grab your gun. I bought a new gun case. I see that. This one? <laughs> no. Look down there. You bought that? 
Oh. <laughs> Why did you do that? This one, she says. So I'm not using this one, I take uh, no, it. No, you're not using that one. Why'd you do that? And you were talking about it on the way out, too. I was. <laughs> yeah, you were. You're like, I want the gun with the golden trigger. Why'd you do that? You said you didn't want to. Because you kept to. talking about it. Oh. Is that why you stopped in there the other day? Yeah. You picked up the receipt, too, out of the back. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Uh oh. I thought... You're like, you want this receipt? I was like, yeah, give me that, please. I got what do you the gold think? trigger. Huh? You got I the, got gold the golden egg. Yeah. Wow. We'll have to go shoot it. I oh. opened that up. And I was you didn't like, even notice it. Go, I'll take this. Well, no, one. I was like, ooh, I'll take this. I didn't even notice it. I, I know you didn't notice. <laughs> did you have any idea? Well, I only saw it once. No, but did you have any idea? No. Because <laughs> you were talking about it. I thought we were going to go back. You kept saying, I want that gun. It's nice. Well, sometimes they do come out. So, in did the I day. keep a secret, Lise? Uh, yeah, you kept a pretty good one, actually. Sometimes they do. <laughs> you, had no, you had no idea? No, we were just talking about it last night on the way in. I thought we were going to maybe go back and look at it, and I was going to try to convince you. <laughs> so we'll get this oh, way. We'll, <clears> we'll see if we can break in the new gun today. for a little walk. Kids are getting antsy. They've been in the truck an hour and they're already starting to... I'm hungry. I want to go for a walk. They said bring the kids hunting. It'll be fun. I don't know who said that, Paul. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. We'll get loaded up. Go for a hike. See how far we can go. You ready? <laughs> gonna go for a hike? Yeah. A little nature walk? Yeah. All right, let's get loaded up. What do you see? There's a track. What kind of track is that? Is that like a deer or something? Yeah, I think it's a moose track. Did you get it, Lace? First bird with the new gun. Good shot. You spotted it and everything. Keep your eye out. There may be another one. Good job, Lacey. Okay. Mom? Annabelle, can you carry it? Oh. Can you hold it? Uh, the next one? Here, let me see. Show me, guys. First shot with the new gun. We're going to take a little jaunt down another road. Bird hunting's been slow, but it's a nice day. It's partly sunny, not much for wind. It's always nice to just get out. Kids love it. Um, you know, it's more about the kids anyway when we take them hunting, try to make it enjoyable for them. So Lacey, bird hunting in the fall has a pretty significant meaning to us, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It, it's a perfect way to introduce a kid to hunting. Yep, that's it. <laughs> uh, yes, I mean, keep you basically can you basically can uh, tailor it to the kid. Pack a lot of snacks. Drive around all day if you want. You can go get to take breaks, go for a walk, move their bodies. Yeah. Burn some energy. It's uh, if you have little ones, it's easy to take a nap. 
whatever they want to do. They, yeah, they want to nap, snack, drive around, go for a walk. It helps fit their needs in the earlier years. Yes. Yep. I mean, we don't take it too serious when we have the kids. No, but while we, also giving them the opportunity to look for, see how to search for birds, use their eyes to scan. Now, yeah, it's, now it's, it's pretty significant for me because dad, I think when I was five, probably when he started taking me, maybe four. And every year, the tradition that I'd get taken out of school for the first day of bird season. And me, him, and my grandfather would always go opening day. And uh, it was an all day affair. Usually we went to breakfast in the morning. And I always remember Grant. It been early. It was. <laughs> and uh, like I can remember one year we were at Lil's in Ashland. Lil. At like, I don't know, five o'clock, 4.30 in the morning. Did you even sleep? Oh, I was always so excited. <laughs> It was just like Christmas. And I can remember every year, Grant would be like, are we playing hooky today, Paul? <laughs> and I thought, I thought he was saying a bad word. <laughs> no, you were actually going to a better place oh, to learn. Is that a spring? Hey, I was. Dad, is that a spring? Uh, no, I think it's just a culvert. It's but... no better place than being outside in nature for kids to look So uh, yeah, looking back, I probably learned more doing that in that day of bird hunting than I would have at a day of school. Sitting in school. For sure. And even as I got older, I remember mom writing a note to the school to dismiss me. And sometimes they would ask, why is Paul missing that day? And she'd basically say, none of your business. <laughs> He's going to a private school that <laughs> yeah. day. He's going to learn. He has a private learning session. But yeah, it's great for kids. It's good. Our kids love it. They, they were asking me to cross off the days on the calendar before... We came well, up here. there's excitement because the camper gets, you know, hun huntized, yeah. <laughs> I guess you want to call it, hunter. But and they they have a lot of snacks they don't usually have. To get the camper out, out you haul it up, you get it set up, and then they know that when bird season starts, that they're going to get to go up and stay in it, bring their movies, bring their snacks. Stay up way later than they should. Be able to stay up way later. Because we were up we were up till about midnight. We have it? to kinda of go around work schedules and stuff, so you know, we got we we left late last night to get up here so we could start early in the morning. Or already be here in the morning to start. That's right. Everybody's playing your hands. But there's a that is there's something cool about that because they were they were outside driving and like seeing the stars at night. Oh, it was a beautiful night coming and in. And then last when we went through the gate, there was a fox, fox hanging at the gate. out. So they get to see some nocturnal life and, you know, stargazing that they wouldn't see yep. otherwise. So there's, you know, just go with it. Now, yesterday was Bo's birthday. Bo, how old are you? Two. You're two. Two. So bird hunting became even more significant a couple years ago. Did you see something? Wanna, do you want to explain that story, Liz? Uh, yeah. okay. I said bird hunting became even more significant a couple years ago. Yeah, so the Saturday before Bo was born, we came bird hunting with the girls. You were basically nine months pregnant. I was very much nine months. Very I was pregnant. like a week away from the due date, so it was kind of questionable, like, can we get out of the woods quick enough if we need to? We had a, because it was an hour in the woods, the camper was. So... Yeah, so we brought the girls bird hunting. I shot my limit that day. And we got a picture of you pregnant. Very pregnant, <laughs> kneeling down on with... the ground with the birds. Had some contractions that day, around mid-morning. Well, but we had, we had lunch. And... Had lunch, things settled down. Uh, and then, so we went home and then, so that was a Mom. Saturday. Very pretty. Very pretty. I want it. Okay. That was a Saturday and that following Wednesday, Bo was born. So, and well, we, which was two days ooh, ahead of the due date. So we had Bo at home, or well, you had him at home. I watched. I cheered you on. <laughs> Actually, you made the partridge stew. Yeah. So the thing was, so Wednesday morning, I get up in the morning. Lacey's sitting on an exercise ball, and she's like, "I've been up since what was it three? Yeah, you've been having con contractions." And uh, so I'm off on Wednesdays, and I said to her. Well, I'm gonna go, we had a bunch of partridge. We each shot our limit that previous Saturday. So I said, I'm gonna go make a partridge stew. 
So I made a partridge stew. I was actually happy about that because that was my first meal. So you had Bo at 740? That evening. Yeah, so that Bo evening. was born at 740 that you evening. In our house. We had a home right. birth. Our midwife was wonderful, amazing. Yeah. She... And then she gets your partridge stew she for She went supper. downstairs <laughs> and more, got the partridge stew heated up for me. And then she's, I, while I was nursing Bo, she basically stood there and held the bowl for me so I could eat with the other hand. Yeah, that was a pretty cool experience. Uh, nine pound, three ounce baby. I yeah. definitely needed some nourishment after that delivery. So a week later, the next Wednesday, so the, yeah, we hauled everyone up here for the night. Bo was a week old. We had newborn pictures that day. And then we had everything packed and we came back up to kind of get him into the woods, I guess, and get the kids back up to shoot some birds. So Bo just slept and nursed and... So at, at a week old, we got pictures of Bo with... With Daddy. More birds. Yeah, you didn't hunt too hard I that didn't day. Hunt, you were obviously that day because I was. You weren't running through the woods. Still healing and busy nursing and was still tired. So no, it's not a, a small feat having a baby. No. So your body needs time to recover and heal. And that's, so that's a process that should not be rushed. No. I see. Family-wise, bird hunting is pretty important. It's a pretty big family hobby that we do or it's an important family hobby that we do so now that well considering the my sister and i have all kinds of good stories of bird hunting with dad when we were little that we still chuckle about today but considering the circumstances of Bo's birth and delivery and the time of year it is uh we last year we came back up and we had celebrated his you first get, birthday. You kind of made a tradition out of it. We brought cupcakes, so he we sang happy birthday, and he had his Ew. one year celebration. Is that fresh food? In it the is. woods, and then it is. We're kind of back up here again because his birthday falls right around the yes. first day. Of Opening week of bird season, pretty much. So, so. It kind of seems like that's going to be the thing. And he loves it. You like it? Oh, yeah. So that's, you know, what a better way to introduce a kid to honey. Get to see animal poop, animal scat. And you kind of get some hook and then later on, you know. Fresh animal poop, animal tracks. We talk about the different kinds of trees, the different kinds of birds that we see. Talk about the birds and the bees. That will probably be discussed at some point down the road. <laughs> Not anytime soon. And it might be really sooner than that. you think. No. <laughs> No, there's a lot of education. It's important that your kids are <laughs> know what So we ought to bird hunt. We ought to pay attention, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm bird But yeah, I guess we wanted to share why. Because I got one up on y'all. Yeah, you do. Lacey has a new gun and she's... Already used it. She just broke it in today. Take a kid bird hunting. It doesn't have to be too serious if you take uh, your kids out. Also, Lydia and I have discussed the importance of knowing where your food comes from. And we've talked about that, kind of like that cycle of it, what animals eat and then how it ties in well. How, uh, how that food, how that affects us because we consume those animals. So there's a lot of connections. So it's a cycle of life, isn't it? A lot of connections right. with our creation and creator. And the land can nourish our bodies, can it? Yep. So, all right, we better get back to bird hunting. Pay attention to what's going on. So we're going to finish what? Finish walking down this road? Maybe mom and Lydia can shoot another bird and we can go back and get lunch. Huh? I would die for lunch. I'd die yeah. for yes, lunch. I'd die. I think for supper we should have... Chicken stew! How well, many partridges? Well, we'll see how many partridge we get. Um, maybe for lunch we or for supper. We have one got one well, so far. Well, we do have a potato. We do have carrots. I guess we could. I do have some deer meat too we can eat. <laughs> no, honey, you can't get so. out. All right, let's go back to bird hunting. Bye. Say goodbye. Let's we'll see some birds. So we're back to the camper for lunch, huh?
Yeah, I'm gonna make my own lunch today. So, morning was kind of slow. One bird, saw one bird, shot one bird. One for one. Just small. 100%. <laughs> kind, of, kind of slow. Didn't, didn't see anything else, did, did we? No moose. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll have lunch and go out and try it this afternoon. If everyone's up to it. All right, we just finished up lunch. Time for round two. Round two? Round two. Round two. Round two. Round two. What do you girls think? Hopefully there's... Can I get Oh, you think good? 11 birds in round two. <laughs> All righty, it's four o'clock. I guess we're gonna try one more road, huh? Let's see if we can drum up a couple more birds. No luck on that walk. We saw one bird. Right, Lise? Yep. One bird. One bird. No shots. So we'll go get some dinner. We'll clean our one bird. I guess we're gonna have partridge and deer steak. We're gonna split one partridge five ways. That's right. Right? Lydia's gonna go clean our bird for us. Right, Lyd? No. no? Kids are getting ready for dinner. I'm gonna fire up the grill, have some steaks. Split a partridge breast five ways. We'll have a good night tonight. Kids are getting a little cranky. So, but we had a fun time today. It's good for the kids to get out and do this stuff. And Lacey's shaking her head at me right now. I think she's having fun inside. Oh, she just opened up a drink. <laughs> you drinking the hard stuff? And by hard stuff, I mean spin drift. So, last year's deer meat. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do something about that this, this fall. Gotta replenish it, right? Well, it's Sunday morning, time to go home. Isn't it, girls? Yeah. I'm we had a good weekend. Ready. How many birds we shoot? One. Just one. We one. saw only saw two, didn't we? And we yeah. ate it. <laughs> we ate it last night. But we didn't take it too serious. We no, no, just had fun with the kids, right? Yes. So I guess until next time. Get outdoors. <laughs> it's what? It's good for the soul. I want your dad, Dad. See ya. Bye. Later. Say bye, girls. <laughs>